Morning children, it's Thursday and this is your English uh, video for today uh, to get um, to help you understand um, what we'd like you to do for today's um, English learning. And then, now it's following on from yesterday, so yesterday you uh, watched um, a, a video um, detailing the events of the Wakari Island eruption which happened in 2019. Now we're going to follow that on today uh, from the notes that you have made um, to identify the chronology and effects of a volcanic eruption. Now hopefully you remember what chronology means, it just means sort of a timeline of what happened on that particular day. So if we go to the um, flip chart, um, it will help you understand what we are asking you today. So yesterday I'm sure you made some really good notes um, about the um, eruption at Wakari Island and, and had a good go at trying to group those together and thinking about those areas which we mentioned yesterday. Um, now, doing a chronology of the events is going to help you when you are going to be writing your newspaper article about it, um, because you're going to be able to hopefully understand um, what happened um, at what particular part. So when you're writing your newspaper article, it can help sort of guide um, you with doing that. Um, now on the next slide, what um, we've done here is sort of given you sort of a um, a timeline, a chronology timeline um, to help you along the way. Um, now it says with the notes you've made, use them to make a timeline of the events of the eruption, um, use the timeline below to support you. Um, now we did this last year with the children and it um, really helped them try to understand what happened when um, and it also really supported them when they were writing their newspaper article about it. Now you may notice a few things um, on the flip chart at the moment. Um, one you may have noticed that there's this red box here. Uh, another one you may have noticed that there's a green box here. Um, and then obviously we've got our timeline here. Uh, now what I've put in here is some sort of information with what could go in these particular boxes. So for instance, this box here, it says who was seen near the volcano before it erupted. So hopefully from yesterday's video, um, you wrote some notes about actually who was near the volcano before it erupted. Um, if not, please feel free to watch the video again um, and try to get some information down there. Uh, this box here, it says what was seen after the event. All right, so what did eyewitnesses see um, after the event had happened? Now we've got this red box here um, and it says in this box when and what happened. Now this is going to be, help you when you're writing your newspaper article when you're going to be starting to write your introductory paragraph, the sort of what, when, why, who, uh, those W's that you will be answering in writing that. Um, now what happened is obviously the eruption of a volcano um, but if we think about a timeline there was obviously a build-up before the actual eruption itself. And then there would obviously be the aftermath of the eruption. Right? So what was seen at the time of the event? Uh, what was seen after the event? What happened after the event? All right? um, so if we think about it, that's the main event, this part here, but there's a build up to that main event and then there's the aftermath to that main event. So with your notes from yesterday, children, have a go at trying to put those notes into this timeline. Um, now, if you printed it off, brilliant. Um, if you can't print it off, that's absolutely fine. Just draw your own timeline um, and you can use this as an example of how to do it. You may want to design your own one. That is absolutely fine. Um, now, the other thing to mention here, children, is that there's the green box here and it says all other information that you feel is important. Um, just notice the spelling mistake here. Um, it doesn't say feel. Uh, it should be double E, so I apologise for that. Um, so all the other information which maybe you haven't put into these boxes may go here. So it may be may, um, eyewitness accounts. It may, be, it may be a fact about a volcano, something like that. Right, so what I'd like you to do is pause the video, have a real good go at trying to put your notes from yesterday into these boxes. All right. On the next slide, it's just an example of how I took the information and put it into the timeline itself. So once you've had a go at it, 
unpause the video um, and have a look to see if you've got a similar thing to what I have done. Now, they're not going to be identical. You may put bits in different places, but hopefully you've got the main parts in those particular places. Um, obviously, this is saved as a PDF, so you don't necessarily have to watch the end of the video. Uh, what you can do is open up a PDF and have a look at there. So pause the video, have a go. Right, I'm sure that you had a really good go at doing it. All right. Um, now, this is what I came up with when I took my notes and put them into a timeline. Now, hopefully, you may have similar information to that. Um, don't worry if you haven't. I'm sure that lots of that stuff there you have got. Now, what you might want to do now is use some other information to write into your own timeline as well. And that's absolutely fine because this is going to help you when you are going to be writing up your newspaper article. Okay, so you're going to be spending quite a bit of time, children, just redefining what you've already written, making sure that you're happy with the bits of information you have got in those particular boxes. Right, enjoy today's lesson, children, and I will see you tomorrow. Best of luck.